It's officially so cold that I can't even do an intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bear Salk, and in this channel we talk about photography and filmmaking. In this episode, we're gonna talk about urban fashion slash lifestyle photography. Let's get it. Look who I have Hello. here. Hello, I'm Alex. I'm gonna be modeling today. She's got a cool leather jacket with a grungy look. Yep. Perfect look. <laughs> he told so. me to dress cool, so I tried. Super badass. We're out in Toronto. Let's get this going. Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Well, I was supposed to do this part outside with Alex, but the day just kind of got crazy and it was kind of cold out. So I wanted to give you guys my tips on how you can master urban and lifestyle shoots. So let's go. By the way, stop the video, go down to the description and follow Alex. She's a very talented photographer. Now let's get on with today's topic. Also, these are not going to be in a particular order. They're all equally important to me. Number one. Let's look at the shot. How does it feel for you? I think as a person who looks at this photo, I'm seeing a bit of engagement, right? Alex is almost pulling the viewer inside the shot with her engagement with the camera or the photographer. So I always try to incorporate shots like this in urban or fashion style of photography because it, it's almost a way to touch the audience with images like these. So I highly recommend including some kind of engagement with these kind of shots. Number two, I don't like to have my model really pose a lot. Like posing is important and, and you know, there's a bit of posing that goes on, but at the same time, you shouldn't just go to a shoot and just be like, okay, pose that, pose this, and I want this pose, I want you to sit here, do this exact same moment. See, there is that perspective too, but I do like to have things a little bit more candid, actually a lot more candid. I think there's just so much that comes out of these candid shots. It's like, it feels very natural and the person just, tells you about their world within that one shot. So that's why it's really important for me. So I try to keep things a little bit more chill and candid. Number three, use your surroundings or use the model's surroundings. So like this shot here, it's, it's almost like urban photography, but at the same time, I looked for ways to take Alex out of that world, but at the same time, leave her in that urban world. Does that make sense? So there's a traffic going on, there's, Probably there's other people crossing the streets. They're not really on the frame, but that's what was going on at the time. Um, I try to include her in a different perspective, in a different heroic way, if that makes sense. Make sure to include your model surroundings within the shot as well to give the weaver a bit of a feeling of where they are. Also with your edits and your perspective, take them out of the shot as well. Make sense? Make them stand out. Number four. Now, you might only be looking at this as a, you know, portrait session and not really a commercial piece. But even with portrait sessions, I try to put a bit of product shots in there as well because, you know, what the person is wearing that day could matter to them because they chose that specific item to come to a photo shoot. It's always nice to capture details about that product to kind of have them remember the product in a couple years or however long you know images last in this digital world but you know what i'm trying to say as a photographer it makes you think outside of the box which is you know it's always great you don't always want to have the camera or have the spotlights in the model it's a nice relief to shoot the product here and there for the photographer and for the model. Number five, I think every shoot that you do, whether if it's automobile, whether if it's models, I think you need to have that one hero shot. My hero shot for this session with Alex was this shot here. I've tried to work with that building for a while now. I try to capture it in a bunch of angles and widest lens that I could possibly get my hands on and it just was not clicking. 
So that day, Alex suggested that we actually walk down that street. And knowing my style, she suggested that building. I was like, hell yeah, so let's go shoot it. Honestly, within a couple tries, I had it. I knew I had it at that time. I would say it's one of my favorite photographs I've ever, ever created. So I'm really happy for that. Alex, if you're watching this, thanks. So before the shoot, make sure to visualize that heroic shot for your model. It always helps. Number six. So this shot here, it wasn't really posed. It wasn't really, you know, we weren't planning to take the shot. I just said, hey, Alex, can you just walk down that way? And it was such a natural shot and she was just kind of like turning her head so there's a bit of like motion blur with her hair. I'm a big fan of like these natural shots with a bit of motion in there, you know, not so perfect, not so professional yet professional. It again, it's one of those like engagement pieces that takes the audience in there. It's like as if I was there watching Alex turn her head and just walk down. So including these kind of natural shots helps you tell a better story. So yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, again, go ahead and follow Alex. Subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy videos like these. Damn, ah, we have a lot coming and I appreciate you guys being here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.